Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been such a while since I sat here in this setup and did this kind of video because I don't really do them very often but I did kind of change up my hair curling technique like a couple of months ago and I've been getting so many messages and comments from you guys more than ever before asking me to show you guys my hair routine. I also feel like for the first time ever I'm just so happy with how my hair looks at the moment because I've always loved really big hair but because I do have long and very thick hair I've always struggled to achieve like that big voluminous look but that's exactly what I've been able to achieve recently and I've been going for this fabulous like big Hollywood curls look and I absolutely love it so I'm going to show you guys today how I do it. I'm so excited that today's video is sponsored by Function of Beauty. You guys know I've been using their custom hair care for about nine months now and I just love it so, so much. Function of Beauty is a brand where you can completely customize your hair care products to all of your own hair goals and needs. So you basically do this really cute little quiz on their website and you fill in your hair type, your hair goals. So mine, for example, were hydrate, replenish hair, shine, and volumize. And then you can further customize them by choosing the color of the products, the scent, and have your name written on them as well. I think these are probably my favorite combination I've ever done. I went for a pink shampoo and a colorless conditioner. And I went for the lavender scent, which is honestly, the most sensational smell, like when you use it in the shower, you feel like you're in a spa. And I've honestly just had such a fabulous experience with my hair since using these products. It's definitely shiny and I feel like it really adds volume to my hair in a way that I've never really found with a shampoo and conditioner. It also feels super duper clean and I find that I don't actually have to wash my hair as often when I use Function of Beauty. And I think that's because there's no like unnecessary added like toxins and like nasty artificial ingredients. It's all as clean and natural as possible. The product are also vegan and cruelty free and the packaging is made from 100% recycled plastic so a really good sustainable option too. So I have just washed my hair with the Function of Beauty shampoo and conditioner and before I blow dried it I put in some of the Function of Beauty serum as well which is also customised to my hair goals. And can we just take a moment to appreciate how shiny and healthy my hair looks. Honestly the shine that I get from these products is like no other and that's always like my ultimate number one hair goal. It also just feels so silky and hydrated and normally when I have like silky slinky hair it's extremely flat but I feel like this just looks like it has so much volume even though it's blow dried completely straight. So needless to say I am a huge huge fan of my Function of Beauty products so if you guys want to try it out for yourself it's also a really fun thing to do during lockdown because I just love the little quiz. I will leave a link down below in the description box where you can get 20% off your first order. So guys as I said I have just washed my hair and this routine I would normally try and start like in the evening and sleep on the curls and the reason I like to blow dry it straight like this is because I feel like when I leave it to dry naturally it doesn't have as much of a lovely shine and like smoothness and sleekness as it does if I do actually use a hairdryer. So as usual, I'm using my GHD Platinum Plus Styler. I'm pretty much a total convert now to using this over like tongs because it's quicker, it's easier, it doesn't burn my fingers. Honestly, I used to have like burns all over my fingers from curling my hair. So these are much safer. How amazing is my hairbrush, by the way, guys? Um, it was my Christmas present from Coco and it's a wet brush with Aurora on. I'm literally obsessed with it. So I'm gonna start on this side and first of all, I'm just going to get my fringe completely out of the way. Now the biggest mistake that I always made when it came to curling my hair is because I wanted those big glamorous curls, I felt like I had to take big sections and that if I took little small tiny strands of hair, it would look really poodly and I wouldn't get the same effect. But that's not true at all. The thing with doing big sections of hair is that it just totally dropped out and it really didn't hold. So the trick really is to do as many curls as humanly possible. This is a pretty good size section of hair, um, which for me, as you'll see, takes a long time to do throughout my whole head. Um, so yes, this is quite a time consuming technique. However, this literally lasts me for days and my hair will look just perfect for like four or even five days until I wash it next. So for me, it's kind of worth putting the time in like once a week or twice a week. So the technique is you get your straightener and you put it underneath the hair like this. I've tried it this way, it doesn't work as well. I found that it really does need to be like this over the straightener. And then you loop it under and through. Now just pull it a little bit upwards so you really get to the root because what we don't want is straight hair with a little curl at the end. That's not cute. So get it right up to the root and then just slowly pull it down towards the end, making your hair like absorb all of that heat. 
and then when you get to the bottom don't let the hair escape then curl it up like this and then hold it here for about five seconds and then slowly unwind it and release it at the bottom and you've got that lovely bouncy curl okay let's do another one so you've got your little piece of hair straighten it underneath and then you loop the hair underneath and through pull the styler up to the root slowly pull it down don't rush this because you really want the hair to like absorb all of that heat hold for about five seconds and then really gently release it also every few curls just give them a little scrunch like this just to encourage them to stay nice and springy and bouncy and not to drop it's also quite tempting the more you get through your hair to be a bit lazy and take bigger and bigger sections of hair but try and resist try and just put something on on netflix or an audiobook and just like settle your time into it because the smaller the curls are um the longer it's going to last So I finished my bottom layer of curls and I do spray my curls layer by layer. The truth is guys, I go through a ton of hairspray, like a lot. It's not great, my lungs probably aren't very happy with me. <laughs> so I always use the L'Oreal Elnet hairsprays because I feel like they have really good hold but you honestly can't feel the hairspray in your hair at all once you brush it out and it actually gives it a really nice silky shiny finish. So I just um, really go in with the hairspray to be honest with you, um, <laughs> give them a little scrunch as well. They might look and feel a little bit crunchy because of the hairspray, but try and resist the urge to brush them out. So I usually do my hair in three layers, but for the middle and top layer, I also split this in half. And all I can keep stressing to you guys is keep those pieces of hair small, even though it's tempting to speed the process up. You'll see by doing it in layers like this, it really gives you that big full bouncy look and all the people that say this is so bad for your hair your ends are going to get frazzled in between the straightener like that they are sadly right um this is probably not great for your hair and my ends can get quite dry but to be honest sometimes if they are feeling a bit dry i'll just put a nice hair mask on the nice hair serum like the function of beauty one or if they do get quite dry over time i'll give them a little trim normally obviously i just go to the salon for a trim but seeing as they're closed i've kind of just been snipping the dry ends off myself and that really helps keep it um nice and healthy and not too dry I honestly can't express to you how silky and lovely my hair feels. Like, it's honestly unreal. Function of beauty. Doing my hair like this is also why I make sure to add, like, replenish and hydrate into my Function of Beauty hair goals because this is quite drying. Like, it's not great for your hair, so I need to make sure I'm also taking care of it. I should have said at the beginning, but I do also use a heat protect spray. In my hair, I use the GHD one um, because, obviously, I blow dry it and then I do this. Like, it's a lot of heat for the hair to cope with. And then slowly release it. Oh, look at that perfect curl. I probably go through about two cans of hairspray a month, I guess. Okay, so now for the top section of hair. This is where we're really going to build up the volume. So it's really important that you resist the urge to cut corners um, and keep those pieces of hair really small. Just have some patience. I always find that once I've spent like 15 to 20 minutes doing this side of my hair, I'm quite lazy with the other side and it just ends up never looking as good. It always drops out and it's not as big and bouncy. Oh, my back. Honestly, guys, I... This can give you a bad back also, hazard warning. A little bit, just the shoulders, you know, having your arms up like this a lot. So as you can see, that volume is really starting to grow and I know it's not looking like the ideal hairstyle right now, but you just need to trust the process. <laughs> I feel like I'm also gonna get a lot of questions on my color in this video because I always do whenever I mention my hair. Um, so I get highlights done. I've been having highlights since I was about 17 at Aveda in London. If you can't go there, there are lots of like Aveda salons that use the same product all over the world, I guess. And I usually get it done twice a year. Um, so I'm actually really due an appointment because the last time I had my highlights done was in July. So like over six months ago. But as you can see, the colour just holds up so, so well. 
it's so natural and um, they don't actually use bleach on me because I do have um, like a dirty blonde natural hair colour so they use a dye called Hylith which is basically like something like 96 or 97% natural so it's a lot better for your hair so I never get that like bleached crusty dry feeling on my hair but yeah I would really like to go for an appointment but I suppose I'll have to wait another few months until I can but the colours held up so well I just like it to like brighten it up at the roots I suppose and I think the last time I had it done I only had a half head as well because I usually alternate I don't have a whole head every time and then for the last curl I'll show you that technique one more time so get the straightener under the piece of hair loop the hair under and through bring it down <laughs> and roll it up and then gently let that curl go. The last curl is always my favourite because it's always really short. I think it also helps in this hairstyle if you have layers in your hair, even if they're just long layers, because it just gives it, um, you know, different lengths and a bit more depth. And I'm giving it a final spray. It's very crunchy at this point, um, and you might notice that there are a couple of curls that are a bit straighter than the rest that you want to redo, but I think I've pretty much done okay. So give it a big scrunch and then leave it. Do not touch it, do not brush it, just leave it as it is and do the other side. I'm going to do the other side off camera so I will be back when I've done all of my hair. So guys, I've done the other side of my hair and as you can see, the result at the moment is very poodle, okay? It's very China doll. That's not the look that we're going for eventually, but you just have to trust the process. So now the finishing touch really to the curls um, is of course my, my fringe, which I feel really does help add to that like Hollywood glam look, especially when you swoop it over and it really adds to the volume. So obviously if you wanted this, you would have to get it cut in or cut it yourself if you're brave. I kind of just want to tell you to do it yourself because one once it's curled and it's part of it, you really can't tell if it's perfect or not. So I get the piece of hair like this and get my straightener either side of it and I'm basically just doing one big curl, so I'm twizzling the straightener around until all the hair has been inside. And I'll just hold it here for a few seconds, it's a bit like a hot roller. And then I'm just going to release it and let it drop to the side. Now. That's obviously super curly and you don't really want it like this, but it is gonna drop. <laughs> it could look a little bit crazy until you kind of sort it out. Give that a little spray too, and then just another like once over, all over the hair with the hairspray. <laughs> So obviously the look right now is a little bit crazy, but you do have to try and resist the urge to brush out the curls for as long as possible. So this is why I like to do it before I go to bed because I'll sleep with the curls like this. Either I'll put my hair in a hair turban or wrap it round in a really loose bun with a scrunchie. Or if you are doing it on the day, just try and wait as long as possible, like at least an hour or longer if you can, which is what I'm gonna do today. So I'm going to go and come back in about an hour and finish off the look for you guys. So guys, I am back and as you can see, we've dropped maybe a teeny tiny bit, but we are still pretty curly. So from here on out, it's going to be a very delicate balance of brushing, hairspraying and serum-ing. What we want to do is get like the shininess back and the silkiness back and get that crusty hairspray out without pulling the curls out. So just brush it really gently, starting at the bottom and then working your way up to the top and don't pull it too hard. Same again on this side, really, really gently. Okay, so this is like a four step process. What I'm gonna do now is really lightly for the final time, spray the hair. Um, don't ask me why, I just feel like this last spray is very important. Leave it for a few minutes to set before you really, really gently brush this out again. Lots of people are going to be saying this is too overcomplicated and too many steps, but all I'm telling you guys is that it works for me. And then the final step is just to add some serum into the ends to keep it looking really healthy and shiny, give the ends some hydration. And also when you do brush out curls like this, they kind of all blend together and it does look very poofy. So we want to separate them the tiniest bit. So I'm using my Function of Beauty serum, which has the same lavender scent. As my shampoo, it is so heavenly and you really just need like one and a half squirts of this because you don't want it to look all greasy. So get your serum into your fingers like that and then just kind of comb through the hair and it will just add that little bit of shine, little bit of separation to the curls. And then I just kind of fiddle with my fringe to see where I want it to go. Do I want it to go like full on Hollywood 
swoop over usually I kind of like a bit of both so I have like a little bit over this side but for the most part that is my bouncy Hollywood curls tutorial finished I just love having my hair like this I love how big and full and bouncy it is but it's still really lovely and sleek and shiny and very glamorous and then unless I go out in the wind or the rain my hair will stay pretty much like this until I next wash my hair which could be like five days and what I really recommend to help keep the curls is when you sleep at night and also any time in the day when you don't need your hair down get a scrunchie preferably silk if you can because it's good for your hair but if not just something nice and soft and scoop your hair up as if you're going to put it into a ponytail and then twist it round into a sausage and then put it in the bun and this will really help keep the curls in for as long as possible so guys that is the hair tutorial that you've been asking for for so long so i really hope it was worth it thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you guys next week bye Thank you.